Over the years that I have been using the internet, I have come across a variety of websites, seen creators rise to peak popularity and then gaze on as they lose it all. I have watched various trends come and go, but one of the websites that has always sort of been in the background of my internet experience, just out of my peripheral vision, was Reddit, a website that until a few years ago had remained somewhat obscure to me, but now is one of the most popular websites in the world. With thousands of new users joining every day to partake in all of the fun that comes along with using the website, and after using it at least once a week and at most every day for the past two years, I have come to realize something about Reddit as a whole. It fucking sucks. <laughs> All good things must come to an end is a phrase that I have found very evident in a variety of places in my life, and I have found that the end of things that I like usually has a direct connection to people coming to it and ruining everything for me. Generally, the way that it works is I will find something that I really enjoy and the sizable audience of people also enjoy. Chances are my friends don't know about it because they are normie scum, and someone like my mom definitely doesn't know about it. But there is a decent sized audience, they have a nice internet presence, etc. And then, soon enough, everyone realizes that this thing is awesome, and they all rush to it, and they watch it, and they hold it, and they put their dick in it. They just can't help but get obsessed over something that they didn't know existed three months ago. And as a result, this thing that I once enjoyed and was nice is now inescapable, and I can't fucking stand it. That may have been a somewhat abstract explanation, so allow me to explain. Now, before I get into this next part, keep in mind that this entire video is my opinion. I am not saying that I am right. You do not have to agree with me. I'm not going to try and convince you of anything. So before you leave a comment saying, Reddit is awesome, I love Reddit, fuck you, you are just jealous. Please listen to what I have to say, watch the video, and then leave a comment detailing why I am the scum of the earth. Moving on. Rick and Morty is, or rather was, one of my favorite cartoons, or even just one of my favorite pieces of media around 2016. I loved the animation, I loved the story, I loved sitting down at the end of a night to watch the new episodes on Adult Swim. Overall, it was just a really great thing in my life. Barely anyone I knew had any knowledge of it apart from a few individuals who were part of a niche audience, and I enjoyed talking to them about it. Then, for some bizarre and weird reason, everybody realized that this thing that had existed for years is great, and they all rushed to it as soon as Season 3 comes out. We got videos like this, this, and of course the infamous video where someone jumps up on a table and screams about Szechuan sauce. People protested outside of McDonald's to eat something that is basically soy sauce and ketchup, and it was so unbelievably obnoxious. Suddenly, when I go into town, I can't help but see people wearing Rick and Morty shirts, and when I go to school, people are screaming wubba dubba dub dub like complete Neanderthals, and running down the hallway. When I go on websites like YouTube, everything in my recommended is Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick and fucking Morty! I couldn't even finish season 3 of of the show because every time I tried to, I couldn't take it seriously or with any levity anymore. I couldn't help but think of all these, and it ruined the show for me, and I hate these fan bases for this reason. And I find that with Reddit, the same exact thing has happened. I used to be able to go on Reddit and just browse it casually in my own little world, free from the weight of reality when I can just go on r slash videos, look around, and have a fun time. But all of a sudden, almost in the span of a week, it went from a somewhat niche site to something that fucking everyone uses. And when everyone uses it, that includes people who are absolute mongrels and end up ruining everything for me. When a bunch of people flood into one place and start causing major issues, the staff of said place have to create new regulations in order to avoid backlash from places like mainstream media, which ends up hurting the site in the long run. While I can understand banning subreddits in the past, like r slash jailbait, r slash fat people hate, and r slash the fappening, I cannot understand why they feel the need to ban a place like r slash incels. That was one of my favorite places on the internet to go, because everything they say is so fucking funny. Sure, it is horribly misogynistic, misguided, and in many cases just plain sickening, but it was funny as hell. Seeing people proclaim that they wanted to black pill the world, how all women are whores, it was so entertaining, and Reddit banned them because they were reportedly inciting violence against women. And yes, they were technically, but I highly doubt that any of the men visiting that website actually beat up any girls living on their community college campus because they saw a post on Reddit, and if they did, it's not Reddit's fault. I don't think that Reddit staff actually care about what they were saying, considering how other subreddits and posts also advocate 
hate for violence against groups in isolated incidents. I think that they were just scared of mainstream media backlash, which could lead to lost money. Similar to what happened with YouTube at the beginning of last year, with what was dubbed the Adpocalypse. And I find it pathetic that we have to live in a world where companies have no choice but to censor their users for fear of media outlets trying to show the world that everyone on their site are Saudi-hating woman beaters. And this fear is valid, looking back to incidents with CNN blackmailing a Reddit user named Han Asshole Solo, who made a meme that Donald Trump shared, and even making users afraid that what they post will be picked up by one of these news stations, and that they will be stripped of their anonymity, ridiculed in front of millions of people on live TV. One of my favorite subreddits around 2016 was r slash dank memes, where people would go post memes that are supposedly rather dank. It was one of my favorite places to go during my commute to and from class, during lunch, while I'm taking a shit. It was great. They had a nice way of curating posts, memes were of high quality, it was overall just a really cool place. Not every meme was edgy as hell, and they actually had some good wholesome memes, and it was probably the best haven for quality memes other than maybe Poll, which at this point has also been ruined, but that's a story for another day. Instagram is a website that I hate and I will never use, because it is a cesspit of bad memes, repost accounts, and overall just complete shit. Memes that are edgy just for the sake of being edgy and have no actual meaning or humor. Memes that are just a lazy holocaust joke, maybe something about Ugandan knuckles. Overall, it is just terrible, but here we are just two years later and r slash dank memes has turned into everything that I hated and still do hate about Instagram. And in fact, it's even fucking worse. All of these memes are just terrible, and the only reason that they have been upvoted is because edgelord 13 year old idubs fans have swarmed to the subreddit, flooded with their terrible memes, and then upvote other similarly worthless memes that have no vision or actual humor involved. It is pure filth. Pure fucking filth. I'm not trying to be a meme elitist here or whatever. You can enjoy the memes you want, whatever. And I'm not trying to say that memes are inherently valuable or have a lot of artistic weight or are important or anything like that. But what I am saying is that there is a way that humor works that also applies to memes. One of my favorite quotes of all times is, if it bends, it's funny. If it breaks, it's not funny. And I have found that this applies to memes more than ever. Making something edgy or dark just for the sake of being edgy or dark is not funny. It is hollow and vapid. If you want to make something funny, give it just enough of a twist to be different, uncomfortable, and therefore humorous, but don't make it different enough to make it break, and therefore be just boring, unfunny, and sometimes even horribly insensitive. And I find that most of the posts that reach the front page of places like r slash dank memes are just that. SHIT! Something else that I have found that is a similar pattern to what happened on r slash dank memes has also spread to other subreddits with the newfound flood of people entering the website, where everything on the site has become a popularity contest, where the quality of a post becomes less important than getting a shit ton of upvotes. For those of you who don't frequently use the site, there are two kinds of karma you can receive, essentially points that you can receive from posting or commenting on reddit. The more people that upvote your post or comment, the more it is shared, and the more karma you receive. As a result, with all of these new users, people no longer strive to make a post fun funny or cool or anything like that. The only purpose is to get upvotes and receive karma in an imaginary popularity contest that means fucking nothing in the long run. As a result, the quality of posts in general has drastically decreased, and one half of the posts that you see are probably just copied from the other half that you see, and most of those are likely copied from somewhere else. Essentially everything is just a series of reposts to get upvotes and it's fucking disgusting. And the worst part is that Reddit as a platform actually encourages this. They don't care about anyone actually making anything original, a post to them is just another post. These karma whores just spend eight hours a day going around copying other people's posts, putting them somewhere else, and then getting thousands upon thousands of upvotes. It is also tragic how easy it is to manipulate these systems with fake accounts. Monkey Jones made a pretty good video about this topic, so I won't go too in depth with that, but I recommend you checking it out once you are done with this video. It is really interesting, but to summarize, Reactor was a troll channel who parodied reaction channels in an effort to make fun of Grade A Underway and show the world how much of a jackass he is, and the way that he got most of this attention to his channel was via making 25 fake accounts on Reddit, upvoting his own posts, which got them to the front page multiple times. I don't think I would exactly call what he did morally wrong, I mean, if anyone wants to make fake accounts and upvote my posts, then I would have no problem with that personally. But it is rather tragic in some respects that the Reddit staff and moderators can't prevent one guy from essentially gaining popularity through illegitimate means. And you may be angrily typing in the comment section right now saying, Turkey Tom, you're so fucking stupid, why would you care about the quality of a Reddit post? Isn't the goal of posting things on the internet to share your thoughts and content and become popular? I don't really care that much about something as trivial as a Reddit 
Reddit post. But considering how Reddit is pretty much the only place to go to consume a forum-based user rating curated form of content, whatever that word salad means, what other fucking option do I have? And if I am frequenting a website like this almost every day, then I would rather have quality posts than petty people trying to reach for some false sense of popularity on a website that will be dead in less than a decade. And to that you may say, well why don't you just find another website to go? There is fucking nothing! Where do you want me to go? Twitter is the same exact shit, YouTube is a completely different beast entirely, so what the hell am I supposed to do? I have nothing more to say on this topic, when is the next title card? And don't even get me started on the videos that people make about Reddit. I understand that by doing this, you would think that I hate my own videos, but no, I don't. Just, just let me explain. Stop. One of the trends that I have noticed near the tail end of 2017 and something that is still going on to this day is the reading Reddit video trend. For those of you who are unaware, basically the way that these videos work is you pick a subreddit and read posts from it while making a funny voice. There are a variety of channels that have received massive success from doing this. From people like Sorrow TV to Slazo to Soot House, all three of which have received massive success on YouTube from picking a subreddit, picking out some funny posts, doing the most minimal editing possible, and posting it on YouTube. And I'm not going to call this content worthless or shit or anything like that because honestly I think that anyone that would call this content completely trash dribble on the same level of like a 2015 reaction video is stupid, but it's pretty hard to deny that these videos aren't exactly meaningful or even good in most cases. While I did find these videos entertaining at first and I would watch them pretty consistently when the trend first started, I find I find that over time these videos have become extremely repetitive and boring. When I'm watching content, I don't like to just fill my time with things that are vapid and hollow and are only created to be stretched out to hell and make some fat dolens, that means dollars. Generally, I like to watch something new, something that will teach me something. I like the videos that I view regularly to have some kind of artistic merit to them and take some level of talent or skill to produce, and unfortunately, I have found that in most cases these Reddit-themed videos don't take a lot of effort to make and are very repetitive. No shame to you if you do like it, if you like to spend your time watching the same video three times a week from the same channel, then be my guest. Don't let me tell you what to do. And before one of you spastics in my comments section says, you can't call that content lacking or easy to make if you haven't made it yourself, well, fuck you, yes I can. Most of the film reviewers on this website have never made a movie, especially not a good one. Most of the video game reviewers have never made a video game, so you can take that big, fat, hairy, veiny, retarded opinion of yours and shove it up your ass. One of my other favorite subreddits was r slash videos because it was a great place to discover small creators who are making quality content and deserve attention. People like Grady under a used to thrive on subreddits like this, and it's a shame that nowadays people on r slash videos don't really upvote small creators anymore. Instead, they promote weird shit like nature videos and people drinking beer. Mostly just vapid and effortless content that will be slightly amusing for the four minute runtime that it has, and then everyone will forget about it. It reminds me a lot of YouTube stars of old like Smosh and Fred. <laughs> In conclusion, Reddit is one of my least favorite websites on the internet right now. I find the user base extremely obnoxious and preachy, I find the way that people use it as a popularity contest rather pathetic, and I find the content that is based off of it to be extremely lacking and boring. With much to be desired from the creators that I feel could do a lot more with the skills that they possess. It's really too bad that Reddit has become a manifestation of everything that I hate about internet culture today, considering how it used to be everything that I liked, but I suppose in the end it was bound to happen sometime. Nothing good lasts forever, and in the fast lane of the online world where things are changing at a constant rate that is even more relevant than ever. It is possible that Reddit and its users will attempt to iron out these issues, but I really doubt that will happen. Reddit is the most popular image board and forum website in the world, with it having thwarted its rivals over a decade ago, and with such a monopoly on the industry, at this point they can basically do what they want. Just like Rick and Morty, I have found myself using Reddit less and less in recent months, and I am pretty close to just quitting the website altogether and deleting my account. But enough of what I have to say, what do you think? Do you hate Reddit as a whole? Do you love it? Does this make you want to cut me into tiny little pieces? and dump me in a river, be sure to let me know in the comment section below as I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, all thoughts and criticism are appreciated as always. I've been Turkey Tom, thanks for watching, and bye for now.